this. It's, it's, uh, that's a uh, water bath injector right there. I thought you said we were picking up a good car. Well, it's, it's, it's a race car. running car. Right. There it is. Stock engine. Stock engine. What did Dave just buy? Piece of shit. <laughs> Bigger piece of shit than I thought it was going to be. It's okay. It seems to be the trend lately. Yeah. Good point. Is it too late to change your mind? Goodbye, junk. It's junk. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I hope, I, don't, I hope I don't see you again. We did it. We bought the first, our first YouTube project car, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a hot one. We bought the cheapest Mark IV, 180, I could buy. 400 Canadian dollars, which is probably $300 US for those following along. And it comes with papers and it starts and runs. How's it drive? The clutch is fried in it. <laughs> it did drive in here. It does start and run. I will start it. Oh, we can't start it without a battery. Smells good in here. Does smell come across on video? Mm, no, not yet. I don't have any power. We need to turn that booster on. Oh, that would help. Did I scare you? Yep. Ah. Oh. Fires right up. Nice. Oh, what's squeaking? There we go. It's good. We need a name for this project. So what do you guys think this thing should be called? Maybe 118 Never Lose? That's not really a name for a project. But add the comments down below what you think this should be called. What do you think, Clayton? What's your first, when you see this work of art, What's the first thing you think of? Shit. So why do we buy this, Clayton? What's the point? Well, we, quite a few things. There is quite a few things. We wanted to test out standalone. Yep. Like plug and play, true plug and play standalone. There'll be another video There'll on that. There'll be another that, video on that. We'll touch on once that. Once we get it all figured out. The other part is how much power can we make on a stock completely unopened 180? Yep. So that's the goal for this. We're gonna bolt on a lot of good parts, good fueling, good turbo, good intercooler, good clutch. In the biggest hoopty. In the biggest what? Hoopty. It is a hoopty, yes. Hoopty, the biggest think, hoopty. But... but we're gonna keep the engine, the long block, 100% stock. Stock rods, stock pistons, stock valve train. And we're just gonna push it to see how much power we can make out of it. I have thoughts in my head on what we can do. Guys have pushed the stock engine pretty far. The key is large turbo and controlling torque because the torque is what's gonna break the rods. I do expect, for those who are gonna follow along with this, we're probably gonna do like, what do we work out? Like five videos maybe? This will be the first one. Yeah, four or five. So four or five videos. So this isn't gonna be a long, long endeavor. We're gonna try to tackle this pretty quick. Um, but I do expect it to probably grenade on the dyno. So when we get to that point, it's going to live a very hard life and we're going to see how much power we can make out of a 100% stock engine, 180 AWP. And if any of you viewers want uh, a little bit of part of this, uh, we did start a Patreon and anything would help honestly with that. So it'd be cool if you guys hop on there. We'll have some extra stuff eventually with that. But yep, we'll have the, uh, the Patreon will be in the link below. You basically will contribute to kind of helping us follow through with this project. We have most of the parts required to do the build here. But it'll help push it along. A little help bit push it easier. along and you'll get some input into what we actually do with the thing. If there's something stupid you want to see done, yeah. We don't mind trying to do it on this thing because it's junk. <laughs> it literally is junk. It has a Jetta front end. What do we call this? What does the internet call this? I don't know. Terrible. A Getta? Jetta? Like Jetta? Jolf. 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 So it's a Jolf. Mm. Um, so we're going we're gonna to put good parts. 
We'll go through the list of the parts probably in the next video, but to give you guys an idea, it'll probably be turbo-wise a GTX Gen 2 3582. That turbo is good for like 850-ish. So we're gonna not, we don't plan on making 850 horsepower with this by any means, but that's gonna help us try to make decent power with it. Not with that attitude anyway. Yeah, typically guys will stop around the 300 range, 300 torque range, um, but we're gonna, this basically is a YouTube project. It's our first official YouTube project. So we're gonna do whatever we can to it to make as much power as we can. Let's give it a walk around. So well, okay. We already, we already talked about the mirror. There's a, oh, don't, don't break that off. So the mirror, the mirror, the mirror needs to be wood screwed back on. It is a GTI originally. It looks like it, is that, those are Jetta vents, aren't they? Did the Jetta, the Jetta come with, no, I don't no, even the, know what those the, are. The Jetta ones folded. Oh, right, those are garbage. But I don't know what trim this is. This looks like something. What about the manual winders? Oh yeah. I think that's right. a downgrade. Yeah, manual winder. And as you can see, it's, it's fully custom. It's fully custom, the seat's custom. Mm. All the garbage in it. Oh, it comes with a broom. Looks like it comes with a broom. Oh, this is the super rare version. Cloth front. And leather backs. And leather backs, yeah. All the garbage. That's, I'm that afraid, was, that's why I'm, I got my gloves on here. That was, that was free. Um, the stereo delete race car. No, the stereo's in the trunk. Oh, or no, there's one right yeah. there too. Yeah, but it's deleted, it's not in the Oh yeah, yeah, the good. Uh, shift does, knob is good. It does have an armrest though. Oh, oh yeah. it's not working though, like the typical Mark IV mm. armrest. Yeah, the leather and cloth mod. It was silver, then blue. Yeah, they painted it. Oh, these, these taillights. Oh, yeah. I don't know what brand those are, but uh, they're, they're, they're balling. Oh, we can tell this came from an area where they love diesels because they put a turn down on a it. A turn down for what? Mm, garbage. Certified yep. poop box. Comes with the engine cover, 20 valve. Yeah, see, another stereo. Stereo number two, custom. For anybody looking for a stereo. Don't look here. Rust. It comes with a tire that doesn't match the car at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, no wheel, no nothing. No wheel, no nothing. All right, we'll close this. Oh, oh wait. Those actually work. Those work, yeah. The front one doesn't have any. The yep. scratch marks are nice in it. And the paint job's super nice. Can you get that, B-roll that? I will later, yeah. I'll get what about it. the Minion? Yeah, it's something. To me. Steelies, studded steelies. Steelies, yeah. And then the side, pretty much same treatment. Yep. Um, it's super clean, like it was detailed before we got it. Oh yeah, definitely detailed before we got it. So we got this from oh, our- Oh, sunroof. Oh, it does have a sunroof. Yeah, GTI, didn't all the GTIs come with sunroofs? Yeah, I think. Oh God, <laughs> that was almost the mic <laughs> obliterated. We got this from our buddy Chris at Jack's Auto. Don't know how he acquired it, but we got papers with it. I don't really think I'll be driving out on the street, but maybe, who knows? We'll see if it survives any of the dyno sessions. <laughs> also, we're gonna put this thing on standalone to make the tuning process super simple. That's why it's kind of torn apart now is because we're messing around with some of that already. So Clayton, are you pumped? No. Just This is just th literally, this, this is, more is work. just more work. This is 100% more work, but it's gonna be fun to I think it adds to it as hoopty as it is. It, it's gonna add, it's gonna be fun for the sheer fact for me that I don't need to worry about like the hood falling down and slamming onto stuff. Like I don't need to worry about, sure, I don't need to worry good. about stuff, right? That's the good part about it all is like, I, it's just a no care kind of project. So now that that's jammed on there for life. <laughs> so the one downside to this project at this point is the clutch is, the garbage one, the in one, it the one downside no sorry man come on now the one that would have been the demise of this car would have been the clutch the guy probably didn't want to fix the clutch yeah is yeah. i would love to have dynoed the car beforehand just in stock trim but we, we have a general idea what these make anyways yeah. um but with this one i can't dyno it because the clutch is slipping so bad that it wouldn't make it anywhere so the next video after this is going to be probably going through the parts list and maybe starting to tear it down. Or no, we might try to get it running first on the standalone. Yeah, that'll be, be that might be the first video. Thing. 
So if you have any questions or comments, or if you want to contribute, just have dumb ideas for this thing, help support it, Patreon's down below, purchase merchandise or a website, whatever. All that stuff helps. All that stuff really helps. Again, this is literally just additional work for all of us. We're doing it for some fun and just and to learning. see how far we can push it. Yeah, I don't know what we're learning. It's an educational video. Is that what this is going to yeah. be? This is for education? <laughs> Made for kids. Sacrificing a 180? Yeah. Yeah. So, you got anything to add, Clayton? No. Just That's I, it? I hate everything about this. What do you mean? This looks like the R32. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put the CCWs on it? We can. <laughs> okay, so, until the next video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye! The better shape than the factory. <laughs> yeah, the turbo, man. 339,000 on it. You want to get it and rock it? Do I? Uh, I guess so. Should we take uh, this home too? Yeah, anyway. I'm already tired of this video too, Clayton. <laughs>